ticks, why it happens, how to treat it, and how to prevent it. You may have noticed poo getting pasted or stuck to the feathers below your chick's vent. This is called, you guessed it, pasty butt. I'm Dr. Michaela, and today's video is about the causes, treatment, and prevention of pasty butt. So what causes pasty butt? Pasty butt is caused by sticky or viscous poo and is the most common in chicks during the first couple weeks of life. Stress is one of the primary causes of pasty butt. Chicks are dealing with a completely new environment and a new diet, and these changes can cause imbalances in the intestinal tract, which lead to diarrhea. Dehydration can also lead to diarrhea, which can also lead to pasty butt. Dehydration is common in young, young chicks. It can take up to 24 hours or longer for chicks to reach feed or water. Plus sometimes when chicks are under supplemental heat, they can get dehydrated if it's too warm. So keeping the right temperature and providing your chicks with electrolytes in the first couple of weeks of life can help prevent dehydration. Diet can also cause pasty butt. The transition from consuming yolk in the diet to a chick starter can be stressful. Plus baby chicks are still developing their intestinal tract and need time to ramp up their own enzyme production. If the ingredients within your chick feed aren't easily digested, this can cause sticky feces, and probiotics can help with that. In less common cases, pasty butt can also be caused by disease. So if you're noticing pasty butt, how can you get rid of it? This may seem obvious, but removing the droppings from the feathers is key. The more fecal buildup, the more likely it is to get worse. Worst case scenario, pasty butt can prevent the excretion of waste and create a fatal situation. The sooner you detect pasty butt, the easier it is to remove it. You can remove the sticky droppings using a damp cloth, or if the feces have hardened, you can run it over warm water to soften the fecal area and make it easier to extract. All of this should be done very gently to limit the amount of feather and skin tearing. Once you've cleaned your chick up, make sure they're placed in a warm environment. If you want to be proactive, here's some ways you can try to prevent pasty butt. The first is try to control the amount of stress, if possible, and try to make your chicks as comfortable as possible and help them learn to eat and drink. The second thing you can do is add an electrolyte, which prevents the chicks from getting dehydrated. The third thing you can do is add a probiotic to help keep a balanced digestive tract, which prevents diarrhea. And lastly, provide a good quality chick feed and limit the amount of treats. And remember, it's very likely you'll see pasty butt within the first couple weeks of life. After that, it should decrease quite a bit. If you don't see it clearing up, you may need to try additional preventatives or consult a vet in the case that this might be disease related. If you have more questions about chick care, contact us at backyardchicken.com.